All right, what's going on guys? Welcome to A Train Gaming. Today's video, I have a pretty good gameplay for you guys. Uh, this gameplay, I end up getting 67 kills in total of two sides of domination, which I think in this game is the most amount of kills I've gotten. Uh, I'm not going to lie though, a lot of it was because of the Wraith. I decided to put the Wraith streak back on. I've been using the Talon a little while, but after getting like three or four of those shot down in a row in games, I decided to go back to the Wraith, and I ended up getting three of them, and I think the third one is the one that does a lot of damage, but this is kind of a cut commentary. Uh, I'm doing this after the fact, and I just tried to get the most entertaining part of the gameplay because a lot of the kills I get are when I go on streaks, but then there's like 30 to 45 seconds on end where I'm just running around trying to uh, catch the guys off spawn. So I try to keep it as entertaining as possible. Uh, I probably could have died a little bit less in this gameplay, to be honest. There were a couple times I called in uh, a wraith when I thought the spawns flipped and I end up dying. I wasn't very smart on the B flag there, but I, this is a pretty good gameplay for me. I'm using the XR2 here, which is a burst rifle, and I'm using it with six attachments. And it's not me being like newbie or whatever. It's uh, I was trying to get a camo, which you, you'll see. I think I get like chameleon camo or whatever it's called. And now I only have one more camo left to get this gun gold. But that's the only reason I was using six attachments on it. And it was weird because before this, I had two games in a row I played where I wasn't doing very well with this gun and the attachments. And I was just ready for bed. But I said I would play one more game. And the gun just still didn't even feel that good to me. Like, I like the XR2, but I don't like this whole six attachments thing. But for some reason, I had a good game. I just felt like I was getting rates really quickly. And I think a lot of the reason was because not only did I get 67 kills, I forget how many times I died, maybe like 15, but I also had a lot of caps and defends. I think I had 12 caps and 17 defends. Uh, everything will show at the end. And as you can see, I'm using gravity spikes, and right there is when I call in my wraith at the wrong time. thought the spawns flipped. But as you see, I'm running gravity spikes. Again, that's just so I can get heroes for specialists, which I'm working on doing for all of them. But... I'm pretty proud of this gameplay because I think, I don't know how many times I've gotten 60 kills yet in this game. And something I wanted to experiment with is I've still never had that nuclear I've wanted. And with all these camos I, I've been doing, it's kind of hard because I'm mixing up guns so often. So I was thinking about maybe setting time for each couple days. And I'll just use a tryhard class with a, like a UAV, counter UAV, and Blackbird or whatever that's called in this game. So no kill streaks can take it. Maybe I can go for a nuclear and hopefully try to get one. Uh, because I'm not going to get a nuclear doing it this way. I go on some pretty nice streaks, but I need to be using my tryhard glass, which is like the M8, probably, or the VMP, depending on which map. So I'll definitely continue to try to get more of these big gameplays for you guys while I talk about it. Uh, I was thinking about today probably recording some Nuketown. I think I've played Nuketown once or twice in this game, and I've done awful. Uh, I used to be really good at Nuketown, but... It seems like people have caught on nowadays and they just head glitch a lot of the cars and the buildings and I get a little too over aggressive, but I feel like I'd like to get a big gameplay for you guys on Nuketown. Uh, it feels like I'm getting sort of the same maps. I get a lot of Stronghold on my channel, uh, a lot of Hunted, so I'm going to try to mix up some maps too, but if you guys haven't tried this XR2 yet, I, I said it yesterday, but it's a good little burst gun to hold down the trigger. You don't get tired like you do with the M8, or at least I do when I hold down the trigger for too long. But as you can see, that's my rate that's going off right now. And I think what was impressive about this game is halfway through the first side of the domination, I think I was 9 and 5, which I think you see towards the beginning. So most of my damage came from the second half. I don't know what I ended up with total for the first half, but that's going to be it for the video today, guys. It's going to wrap up here with this nice triple kill. So please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Co leave a comment if you want. Thank you all for watching, and I will talk to you all later.